So he, here we are in Kaliningrad, uh, which has a, a very complex uh, geographical position and also history. It's a region of one million people and it is an exclave of Russia located on the Baltic Sea between Lithuania and Poland, two European Union countries. This separated from the rest of territory of Russia. To travel by car from Kaliningrad to the rest of Russia, one has to cross two countries, Lithuania and Belarus. However, one can reach St. Petersburg from Kaliningrad by the sea, although it takes a long time. Local residents even nicknamed the rest of Russia Big Russia. The history of the region is complex. It was first populated by Prussian tribes who were related to the Lithuanian people. In 13th century, German Teutonic Order began its crusade on the Prussian lands and set up the city of Königsberg. It later became the capital of the Teutonic Order state. In 16th century, the Teutonic Order state has been converted into the Duchy of Prussia. It later became a province of East Prussia in the Kingdom of Prussia and later in the German Empire. Germany lost possession of uh, Königsberg uh, in the Second World War and it was consequently uh, renamed as Kaliningrad. It is very challenging to develop tourism in Kaliningrad due to its history and geopolitical uh, situation. Russian citizens uh, need a visa to visit European Union and European citizens need a visa to visit Russia. Therefore, despite Kaliningrad being located in the center of Europe and being surrounded by European Union countries, the majority of leisure tourists in the region are from Russia, 87% of them. And only 13% of tourists come from overseas. Russian tourists travel to Kaliningrad predominantly for seaside tourism and cultural tourism, while international visitors come for cultural tourism and business travel. In 2015, there were 600,000 leisure tourists in Kaliningrad. However, there were 7.5 million border crossings both ways between Kaliningrad and, and the neighboring countries. This is largely due to the small border traffic zone agreement between Kaliningrad and the northern provinces of Poland. This stimulates cross-border trade, day visits and shopping. According to the study by Dominevsky and Studzinska, this agreement reduced the social and functional distance between Kaliningrad region and Poland. It also contributed to economic growth of both sides as traffic from both sides increased. However, this uh, agreement has been suspended in July, hopefully it's temporarily, uh, due to the NATO summit in Poland. So currently, uh, we are filming this in, in July 2016, Kaliningrad uh, residents cannot use their multi-permit entry to go into Poland and the Polish residents cannot come to Kaliningrad. They need to apply for a Russian visa. Since the Ukrainian crisis in 2014, the relationship between Russia and the European Union has been strained. This negatively impacts such territories as Kaliningrad with number of international rivals apparently fallen since 2014. So, Kaliningrad actually has a, a huge potential in development of tourism due to its uh, history and its geographical position. It has a natural uh, areas such as Kuronian Speed National Park, which is recognized as World Heritage by UNESCO. It has uh, historical architecture in German style. It has Russian history and culture and also influences from neighboring Poland and Lithuania. But because of uh, the visa restrictions and uh, lack of uh, tourist infrastructure, the expense for Russian tourists to come to Kaliningrad, uh, it's becoming quite challenging to increase the number of visitors to the region.